Where Shiloh come? Shiloh is Christ. Shiloh means peaceable. What that means by calling Christ peaceable means that he made peace between us and the Father because we broke the law, the covenant, so they had to come somebody to redeem us back to the Most High because we became outcasts when we broke the covenant. So Christ made the final sacrifice and redeemed us back to the Father so he made peace between us and the Father. That's why it's called that peace. So, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. And when it say unto him shall be the gathering, it's talking about Christ and it's talking about Judah. Shiloh is Christ. Everybody got that? Un and under him shall the gathering of the people be, mean Christ. Christ has to come and wake him up first with the twelve disciples. Okay, now Judah is petitioned to go out and gather the tribe. So that's what's happening now. There we go. The eleventh verse. Binding his foes unto the vine. And his ass is cold unto the choice vine. The vine is talking about his grapes, wine, the grape vine. The so-called Negro like one of them. Yeah, what's the name? Red Fox used to talk about that. Uh, hey, but they drinking that muscatel and Swiss up, that bad guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's that? Midtown, uh, midnight, uh, midnight train. Midnight train. He washed his garments in wine. Yeah, he's the hey. That means you drink anytime you wash your garments in wine. That means you're drinking a lot of wine. So it's spilling all over your garments, right? <laughs> Everybody got to understand of that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And his clothes in the blood of grace. And his clothes in the blood of grace means he spilled a lot of wine on himself. Meaning he drinks a lot of wine. Everybody got the meaning of that? Uh -huh. So Judah, the so-called Negro, do drink a lot of wine. Maybe they don't drink much wine like like now because they're into what? Crack and all that other stuff. <laughs> right there in the 50s and all that. They do used to drink a lot of wine. That's why uh, Red Fox and all of them was talking about that. That's why, uh, what's his name? Uh, Richard Pryor. When he's doing his thing, got the uh, imaginary wine bottle. <laughs> there we go. The 12th verse. His eyes shall be red with wine. Meaning, meaning he like a lot of wine. And it's also talking about Christ with like a lot of wine. Everybody got that? And that's telling you why his eyes were red. When you go and you read that his eyes were red. In Revelation. Everybody got that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And his teeth white with milk. They used to have them signs down south. Now, I don't think any of y'all you know, know about that. Where they had a Jake on the sign and you could see the white eyes and you see the teeth. White. Okay. Oh, you saw them, right? Yeah, black Yeah, yeah. this is on the coach and everything. Okay. So they have this. The thirteenth verse. Zebulun shall dwell at the haven of the sea. Now we're down to the tribe of Zebulun. We got Judah. Judah is who? Uh, Reuben is who? Simeon is who? Levi is who? Now start again. Reuben is who? Simeon is who? Dominican is what? Of Indian descent and Negro descent. Listen good. Of Indian father and Negro father. So you can understand. Levi is who? Okay, uh, Judah is who? And where is he located at? No, America. America. What part of America? No, no America. America. Okay, remember that, because this is all called America. All right, uh, Zebulon. Come on. Read it, read it again. Genesis, Genesis 49, chapter 13, verse. Zebulon shall dwell at the haven of the sea. So it's given you where Zebulon shall be in the last days. What is, what is this we living in? Last days. Okay. It say that Zebulon in the last days would be for a haven of ships. That's Panama. 
Panama is for a haven of ships. That's why the Panama Canal was through there. Everybody got that? Uh -huh. <clears throat> so from Guatemala to Panama, that whole strip of the land going down to Panama, not just Panama, from Guatemala to Panama, they located the tribe who? Yeah. Everybody got that? Not yeah. just the Panamanian. Right. It goes from Guatemala to Panama. I don't have the map in here with me. I don't know where it's at. Anyway, go ahead. I need to be for a haven of ships. And he shall be for a haven of ships. Ship, do ships go through Panama? Uh -huh. And his border shall be unto Zidon. So in ancient time, he was along the borders of Zion, Palestine. So now in modern time, he's where? He's uh, down at the borders now that they're going through. Okay? Between North and South America, right? <coughs> All right. Next. Come on. The 14th chapter verse. If the car is a strong act, Couching down between two burdens. And, and this is beautiful because they got on the banners in Mexico, a burro loaded down with a whole lot of burdens. A whole lot of bundles on top of his back. Y'all see that? Read the statement again. If the car is a strong act, couching down between two burdens. So in the car is the Mexicans of Indian descent. <laughs> Okay, because why do I say it is that? Because you got Spaniards in Mexico call themselves Mexicans. They're not the real Mexicans. The real Mexicans are the ones of Indian folk. Everybody got that? Right. Uh -huh. on. And he saw that wreck was good. Do they have a siesta down there? Uh -huh. Man, it's beautiful. It's, this is super clear. And even in the Lost Tribes, it can tell you about that too. It tell you who certain tribes is within the law of tribes. You got you have to really get into that. I can't think of where the part is where it tell you about Ephraim yeah, hey, and uh, Ephraim and and uh, Manasseh. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. And and the land that it was pleasant. And he land when it's saying the land that it was pleasant means he was a farmer. Is he a farmer? Uh -huh. Remember during the revolutionary against the Spaniards, against the Germans and the and the Portuguese that was in their land, the Dutch that was in, in Mexico, they were fighting against them. Pancho Villa. Uh, Zapata, Emiano, Emi, I think his name is, Emiano Zapata. Okay. They made a movie about that, Zapata. Viva Zapata with Marlon uh, Brown. And they darken him up to make the movie. Plus he's supposed to be an Indian. They darken him up. How many of you saw that movie? Okay. That's a true story. Very long. And bowed his shoulder to bear. And he bowed his shoulder to bear the land. He became a farmer. Because that's what he was. No. And became a servant unto tribute. And he became a servant unto who? Tribute. So who was making him pay tribute? The Spaniards, the Dutch, and the Germans that was in there was making him pay tribute. And then he rebelled against them. That's Pancho Villa and all of that, and Viva Zapata and so on. Everybody with me? Uh -huh. All right, go on. So who was in the car? Mexican. Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. So Dan did that. That's how you had Samson and all that. But now when you go to Revelation, Dan is not in the list. Go to Revelation. Because one of the tribes had to be taken out. Because there was too many. How many was it when we came out of Egypt? Thirteen. Why was it thirteen tribes? Levites. Levites were the teachers. Right. Levites played the priesthood. That's what. Now, after the Levites prayed the priesthood, then they're supposed to go back to 12. That's why it says this in Revelation. Read it for four verses. Revelation, the seventh chapter, and the fourth.